If you think you may have low testosterone, also known as low T, we explain the symptoms, possible causes, foods that increase and decrease testosterone, testosterone boosters, and how to boost testosterone naturally. And we're even gonna show you how to get your testosterone tested without having to go to a doctor. For those who came hoping to see some wacky shit or maybe show off some crazy new sex toy, we apologize. In this video, we have actual information and advice on having low testosterone. The internet is filled with all kinds of misleading articles on low testosterone. If you have low testosterone, natural ways to boost your testosterone, there's always an affiliate link to a product that boosts testosterone. Most of this stuff is just marketing propaganda for people to push their products. Low testosterone symptoms include constant fatigue, low sex drive, inability to focus, depression, memory loss, increased body fat, mood swings, and erectile dysfunction. Some common causes of low testosterone include insufficient sleep, being overweight, drinking alcohol, taking drugs including opioids and steroids, high cholesterol levels, high blood pressure. Before you try any of these natural methods or prescription testosterone replacement therapy, you should know if you really do have low testosterone and exactly what that testosterone level is. Instead of taking just some supplement and hoping that it works, the best thing anybody can do is finding out the facts by testing your exact testosterone levels and then testing them again at the end to see if they really work. You really wanna know those numbers if, if it increased from 500 to 600. And the only way to do that is to get it tested. One way to get your testosterone checked is to use our link to letsgetchecked.com. Use our discount code for 20% off your test. We're promoting it because we both tried it and it was pretty awesome because we now have our testosterone levels. And sure enough, my testosterone levels were on the low side and Ian's was normal. For a 10 year old schoolgirl, <laughs> Ian's was actually 453, which is pretty normal. That's almost double mine. We got our results within a few days. How to boost testosterone naturally. Get more exercise, lose excess weight, reduce the amount of sugar you consume, get more sleep about seven to eight hours a day, reduce stress. Whatever you gotta do to reduce stress, do it, whether it's yoga, <laughs> eating yogurt, it, yoga, or studying YouTube videos or meditation, all that stuff. You gotta get rid of stress. Seven foods to boost testosterone naturally. Some online articles say milk for the vitamin D, but other studies show that the cow's milk often contains synthetic hormones that may affect your testosterone levels. Eggs. The cholesterol in whole pastured eggs is supposed to be good for testosterone. Best taken before bed and the runnier the yolk, the better. Oysters for zinc. Tuna, a great source for vitamin D. Tuna typically has mercury these days, so limit to a couple times a week. Shellfish for zinc. White kidney beans, black beans, and baked beans. They're great for vitamin D and zinc. Whole grains, they contain zinc and magnesium. And bananas, beets, and spinach for the potassium. To sum it up, on a daily basis, you should get roughly 50 micrograms of vitamin D, 11 milligrams of zinc, 1600 to 2000 milligrams of potassium, and roughly 400 milligrams of magnesium. Preferably from natural foods, but if you can't, then supplements are okay. Foods thought to lower testosterone. It was thought that soy lowers testosterone, but we found no evidence of this. In fact, we found more articles that say it has no effect on testosterone than anything else. I remember learning that soy was bad, that lowers testosterone levels. For about five to 10 years, I haven't even been touching soy milk or soybeans or anything with soy in it because I'm like, no, that's gonna turn me into a lady and give me man boobs. After researching and learning a little bit more, now I'm gonna feel okay about buying soy milk and other things. Eat a fairly normal diet. Don't worry about whatever foods because none of them have been proven to reduce your testosterone levels. What about testosterone boosters? Like Tribulus terrestris, DHEA, ZMA, fenugreek, and ashwagandha. Ashwagandha has been shown to decrease cortisol levels, which may raise testosterone. Testosterone boosters claim to increase testosterone levels, but there's just not enough proof out there. But we're gonna test out a few testosterone boosters now because now that we have our baseline testosterone level, we're gonna try some boosters for a couple months and then get rechecked and then we're gonna say, hey, yeah, it worked or no, it probably is just a bunch of BS. 
So focus on a good diet, exercise regularly, get plenty of sleep, try to eliminate stress. Don't stress about stressing out. Yeah. And now testosterone replacement therapy. If you tried all the natural ways to increase your testosterone and you still have low testosterone, you can see a doctor. They may put you on testosterone replacement therapy, but according to the FDA, testosterone replacement therapy may increase your risk of heart failure, stroke, depression, hostility, infertility, and liver toxicity. But on the plus side, if you do have low T, testosterone replacement therapy could improve your sex drive, energy, muscle mass, and fat loss. But TRT is not advised for treating those who have low testosterone levels due to aging. Like if you're old, your body isn't supposed to have the high, high levels, so you probably shouldn't be taking the replacement therapy. I've had a good run for my money. You probably have to stay on it for the rest of your life if you want to continue to see the same results from it. Otherwise, you're just going to go back to where you were before you started. Why would your body want to produce any more testosterone if you're just, if you're just giving it to yourself artificially? That's why I'm on the fence with that. I think I'm probably not going to do it because I just don't want to, I don't like the feeling of staying on it for the rest of my life. There's been concern that the BPA found in some common household plastic items has been not good for testosterone. But in our research, we didn't find any conclusive evidence of that. But you'll still see BPA-free products out there like plastic drink bottles and food containers and stuff. BPA is in so many things that you just basically can't get away from it these days. The best thing that you can do is just go with glass when you can. It was once thought that abstaining from sex, masturbating, and ejaculating would increase your testosterone. But we found no real conclusive evidence of this. Most of it just pointed to the same study where it was 28 guys that abstained from masturbating and they found that on the seventh day, their testosterone levels spiked by like 140%. And then after that, it went back down to normal. Stay tuned for new videos where we try to increase our testosterone naturally and with testosterone boosters. Now that we have a baseline,